This is Sci-Man Dan, or Sci-Fi Dan as I like to call him, because he loves science fiction. He's the new pinup boy of YouTube and for gay men all over the globe. He recently made a video where he sets out three challenges for flat earthers to complete. The problem with the challenge, however, is that all three are scientifically impossible. He claims that he will pay $5,000. Yes, that's correct. $5,000 to anyone who can complete the challenge. So if the challenge is impossible to complete, then the challenge itself is fraudulent and that makes him a fraud. He knows that the three challenges are impossible, that's why he's making this challenge and, and offering $5,000. He has no intention of parting with, the, with his uh, dirty money he made on YouTube by conning his simpleton fans on YouTube. So let's quickly go through the three challenges and see why they are scientifically impossible. His first challenge is that he wants photographic evidence of a target that is 50 miles away and no more than 100 feet tall. He also wants the camera height to be no more than 6 feet above sea level. This is impossible. The Earth curvature calculator tells us that the, from eyesight level of 6 feet, the distance to the horizon will be 3 miles. Now, that has been debunked by Flat Earthers because, because we can see further. So, the Earth is not a globe and we have debunked the radius of the Earth. But, from 6 feet eyesight level, we will be able to see 10 to 15 miles maximum, no further. And, you have to increase your elevation, you have to go up uh, in height to see further. Uh, if, if you rise up in elevation, you will increase the resolution, the angular resolution. Uh, so you will be able to see much further. So again, Sci-Fi Dan knows this. This is why he wants to see a target at 50 miles from uh, 6 feet high. Th th this is impossible. Now, Sci-Fi Dan and his idiotic followers thinks that on a flat earth uh, the sky and the land should look like this, they should be separated like this. So if you're standing in London you should be able to see the Statue of Liberty in New York with a telescope. This is how, this is how stupid these people are. Again Sci-Fi Dan and his moronic friends, uh, followers they don't understand perspective. This, uh, another important point to remember is that perspective is, dictates how far you can see. They can't seem to get their heads around to the idea that the horizon is an apparent location. It is where the land or the sea appears to meet the sky. They don't actually meet, of course. This is how stupid they all are. This is the type of people we are dealing with. His second challenge is utter nonsense. He wants two people uh, in different latitudes, like 10 degrees apart, playing with pendulums. Pendulums are man-made devices that prove fuck all. So again, this proves nothing. For his third and final challenge, he wants a model where three observers in Australia, South Africa and South America can observe the Southern Cross at the same time. 
he actually lies and says this can be this is possible on the globe uh, he pulled a fast one uh, I don't know if anybody noticed it but this is scientifically impossible even on a globe it's impossible to see the Southern Cross at the same time from Australia South Africa and South America this is the website timeanddate.com and timeanddate.com and if you go to the time zone converter and I've already punched in Sydney, Australia, Santiago, Chile, Cape Town, South Africa and you can see that uh, there is a 15 hours difference between Sydney, Australia and Santiago, Chile and 9 hours difference between Sydney, Australia and Cape Town, South Africa therefore it is impossible for them to see the Southern Cross at the same time Simon Dan is a fraud and a liar now give me that money Oh